Even before Watch Dogs 2 was announced, a lot of people wanted Jackson Pierce to be the main character of the game. However, we later learned that the main protagonist was Marcus Holloway, who had no connection to any of the characters in the first game. It's a shame because Marcus is also the same name as Damien's son, which would have made for an interesting story. I understand that they wanted to try something new, but sometimes new doesn't always work. A lot of people, including myself, thought the story of the first Watch Dogs was more interesting than the sequel. I'm not saying the second game is bad because that's obviously not true. But when it comes to the story, the first game had a lot more oh my god moments, characters that you cared for, and villains that you hated. If you want to hear my full thoughts on the story of Watch Dogs 2, be sure to check out my review in the description down below. Anyways, back to the first game, a character that everyone was attached to was Little Jackson Pierce. I mean, this kid's mom was kidnapped, he was kidnapped, his uncle was a murderer, and he was stuck with Yolanda Mendez, the worst excuse of a human. I hate her. So with all of this in mind, it would be interesting to see his story continued and what he grew up to be like. Was he normal? Will he be like Aiden in some ways? Or even Damien? There's so many possibilities and it would definitely make for an interesting story. I mean, when you think about it, Watch Dogs 2 brought back T-Bone, Tobias, Jordy Chen, and Aiden Pierce. So Ubisoft loved bringing back older characters. But what about Jackson? Well, let's go back and see where his story left off. All right, sweetie. We're leaving now. Say goodbye to your Uncle Aiden. Are you coming with us? No. Your uncle's staying here. Bye, Jax. not crying, I promise. No, but seriously, I said this in my review, Watch Dogs had a surprising amount of emotion when looking back at the story. But yeah, Jackson and Nikki ended up leaving town, and that's it. In the DLC Bad Blood, we later find out that Aiden has an audio log stating he doesn't know what they're doing now except that they changed their names and don't use the internet. He hopes that they're happy and have moved on from the events in Chicago, but he doesn't dare find out if this is true out of fear of endangering them again. So could Jackson Pierce end up being the main protagonist of Watch Dogs 3? Well, unfortunately, it doesn't seem likely. Jackson was 10 years old in 2013, and if Ubisoft were to keep up tradition, Watch Dogs 3 would be released in 2018, making him 15 years old. And even if they released it in 2019 or 2020, he still would not be old enough if the game was set in the year it released, which again, seems to be like tradition with the series. With that said though, anything is possible, and the game could be set in 2025 for all we know. I personally think Jackson should be the main character of this next game for a couple different reasons. First off, because he changed his name. So picture this, we're playing as some random character with the name Walter White. But we the audience eventually find out it's Jackson Pierce. This could be a very good reveal if done properly. And having Jackson as the main character would also make sense for older characters returning, such as Nikki and Aiden Pierce to some extent. And imagine Damien's son being the main villain. He holds this grudge against Aiden Pierce since he killed his dad, and the way he's going to get revenge is by going after Jackson. This forces Aiden to come out of hiding, and we have a mission where we play as Aiden Pierce. Ubisoft, seriously, just hire me for this game. There is so much story potential if Jackson is the main character, and all you have to do is set the game a little bit in the future so Jackson is 18 or 21. Anyways, that brings us to the end of the video. I thought this would make an interesting topic because a lot of people do want to see him return. Let me know in the comments down below, besides Jackson, who would you want to be a main character in the series? Would you like it to be someone we've seen, like Jordy Chen, or someone completely new? As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all later.